Hello everyone and welcome to Thin Dragon Place Police and Gromit in the Boogeyman! And unfortunately it doesn't mean the Boogeyman, it means a uh, Boogeyman, as in a uh, golfer or something like that, I don't really know. And I also found out why the game keeps crashing when I when I uh, change the settings, uh, Fraps crashes it. But either way, this is the last episode of Wallace and Gromit. It only hold has four episodes. And just like the others, this one is probably going to be more of a walk around and listen people speak kind of thing. So, <laughs> yeah, let's begin! What? Gromit doesn't give a fuck. How the fuck does that make any sense? Why didn't the bow... Why didn't the bow... I don't even know. Give me these things. Shirt, sleeves. Oh dear, Gromit. I must stop eating cheese last thing. It's given me terrible dreams. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, last night, I dreamt I'd accidentally become engaged to our neighbor, Miss Flit. Well, oh, oh, oh. um... Can you imagine? <coughs> Here, well, this old pal. Have a look at this. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's this? Oh no, lad. So it wasn't a bad dream after all. It's a real life flipping nightmare. It's all coming back to me. At the fair. I found that lug nut and she thought it was a... Oh my kitty aunt. Talk about matrimonial misunderstandings. You've got to do something from it. <laughs> no. I've got to do What's something. Wrong with their faces? I must go and speak to Miss Flit at once. I apologize and uh, explain it was all a terrible this mistake. Thing in his eye, I'm I think. sure Miss Flit will understand. Just... I know. Uh, she'll probably be relieved when she learns I wasn't proposing marriage after all. It's not as if we've much in common. Uh, uh. And those uh, well, flaws everywhere. I suppose there's nothing for it but to. Uh... I don't know. Maybe it's it's the thing that they oh, are supposed to be made out of. Major Crumb. Yes. Ah, morning, Wallace. No I've come about a professional a matter of the utmost delicacy and secrecy. You have. Oh, wonderful. Uh, step into my consulting room and tell me all about it. Seems I'm going to be tied up for a while, Gromit. Uh, on business. Uh, why don't you go and put your ear to the ground and find out how the land lies next door? Of course. So yeah, maybe it's because the characters were made out of something. I don't. Was it? I don't know. Maybe. Great on Prudence. You came so quickly. Of course, Ooh, Felicity. The... An urgent summons from one's only living relative and heir to one's fortune can mean only one thing. Man trouble. Now, who is the blighter this time? I'll box his ears if he's been toying with your affections. Oh, no, no trouble as such, Aunt Prudence. But, well, there has been an important development on the matrimonial front, which... <laughs> Pardon me, Aunt Prudence. I think I spy an ugly little intruder. I positively love fungi. Come, let's go Look inside for too. a cup of tea. Have you come, my old child? Man trouble always makes me hackles rise and my petticoats fluster. Yeah, does maybe it's because they were supposed to be made out of. Played or something like that, but yeah, this is doing much. I can't hear anything. Yeah, I know you. Uh, what's that on the chromit side? What's this? Okay. What do I do with that? 
Oh, hey! The gnome! Where did, where did you come from? You don't do anything, you're useless. What about you? Okay. Mm. Wallace! I need your help. Although we at Golden Retrieval believe the customer is always right, we may find it a little tricky to uh, uh, um, retrieve your lost item if you can't identify what it is. I didn't say I can't identify it. Uh, you didn't? No, that'd be idiotic. Do I look like an idiot? Um... I can identify the object perfectly well. Oh, oh excellent. And I shall identify it as soon as you fellas find it and bring it to me. Oh. It's not going to be an easy job. No, it isn't. It's going to be deuced difficult. That's why my colleagues and I are turning no. to you. I can we help. only I work see. with the best. Oh, uh, uh, well, very kind of you to say so. But I won't stand for any monkey business. If you don't bring me the genuine article, I'll know in an instant. Uh, no, supposed to be here. That's what I need you to find out. You and that bloodhound of oh. yours. You're detectives, aren't you? Registered and certified. Then you are If there's any information gathering to be done, my eavesdropper is just the tool for it. Eavesdropper? I like the sound of it. But you need to be discreet. Tread softly. Ears. I suppose we can start hunting for clues with my super clue snooper. A what? Capital idea. Still... And if they put the thumbscrews on you, Wallace... Oh, uh, Gromit and I would never divulge your professional secret. Good man! Yeah, I'll be going now, now. Have you got all... Let's just explore the hall. Okay, so I can't go to the living room again. I can't go to upstairs. You give me a whole... A whole house to live at, and then I can go to two rooms. Nice. Let's use this. In his spare time, he likes to tinker a little. Tinker? Yes, um, inventions and such like. A handyman? Well, you'll obviously have to put a stop to the inventing. Certainly not in the house. Can't be tolerated. Oh, oh no. Far too messy and intrusive. Hmm. Well, I think you've told me all I need to hear. And so? So long as he doesn't leave his contraptions lying around all over the house, he sounds a very suitable suitor. So our engagement has your blessing? I don't see why not. Unless... Yes? Unless, of course, well, he's not, he's not a member of that, that place, is he? That appalling country club whose name alone makes me shudder. You mean Prickly Thicket? What? Oh, yes. Oh, heavens, child, you know our family history. We flits have never associated with those dreadful Prickly Thicketers. Oh, you needn't worry, Aunt Prudence. Wallace isn't the prickly thicket type. Okay. I I don't really get it. Are we supposed to uh, try to stop the marriage, or are we? Are they, Mister Kinnear? Constable Dibbins, delivering the mail as well this morning. Aye, post is off sick. He's got the mumps and I've got the um. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Her Majesty's mail must be delivered. And PC Ernest Dibbins has never shrunk from duty. Even when such duties aren't even part of his blinking job description. Here's your post. Ah. Couldn't help but notice the coat of arms, Mr. Paneer. A prickly thicket, isn't it? Happen. So, you remember then? Hmm? Oh, aye, aye. Practically my second home. Is it now? 
That's a very interesting coincidence. I was just saying to myself the other day, Ernest Dibbins, it's time you joined a... Oh, my! Excuse me, Constable. What are you staring at? Get along now. Can I take this? Give it this. Back off. What's wrong with his face? Caught him trying to nick your letter. The important one from ahem, Prickly Thicket. Oh, that's only the envelope. I've got the letter here. Not bad news, I trust. Oh no, quite the reverse. It's my turn to propose a new member. Is it really? Well, I never. It's a heavy responsibility. Not everyone's cut out to be a prickly thicketer. The candidate must be a gentleman of impeccable character. Someone who's always there for a friend in need. A pillar of the community. And of course, a sportsman. Going to be a long search? Uh, not necessarily. I mean... The ideal candidate might be, uh, somebody who's very close to you. Oh? Aye, somebody who's right in front of your nose, in fact. Ah, yes, of course. You mean Mr. Wallace, my near neighbor and one of my <laughs> best customers. Wallace? He's no blinking sportsman. He don't know one end of a golf club from t'other. Well, that's true. And he's hardly a pillar of the community, like... Like who? Mr. Paneer. My dear Mr. Paneer. Who watches over this who town centre right like a shepherd it's... watches his flock? Who sees to it that everybody stays on the straight and narrow? Oh, you mean you? <laughs> but don't forget... You forgot to find me after that business with the bad bangers last month. Only on account of me soft heart. It's me only failing. But don't start getting ideas. I'll let you off with a warning once, but just once. Of course, Constable. Now, you better start getting these crates put away. They're blocking a public thoroughfare. Oh dear. Not more crates. Good day, Mr. Paneer. I'll leave you to uh, think things out. Out of my way, you. Well, I I I guess Constable Dibbins wants to be a prickly figure here. Don't suppose you could use a few crates of super sticky nut butter, can you? I ordered five tubs, but the daft taper at warehouse put me down for five hundred. How am I supposed to shift five hundred tubs of super sticky nut butter? Wait a minute. Take this home to your master. Free sample, courtesy of Paneer's produce. If you don't like it, you can always use it to fill in cracks before decorating. Well, um, it's good thing that it has multiple uses and such. But I don't know. I I catch hey, a up, of or something. Hey, I couldn't help noticing that little item in the society section. The one about your master and Miss Flit. It's true then. Yeah. I'm Been sure. keeping it a secret, those sly devils. No, no, uh. Never mind. Do we have Mr. Muzzle here with the dogs? Hey, you're the mutt what's responsible for my incarceration, aren't you? No hard feelings, mate. Come here. I've got a little present for you. No, mother. Not icky cricket. Prickly <laughs> thicket. A country club. Your Ernest may soon be joining a country club. What do you think of that? Okay. Can we find anything from here? Nope. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Can I do something here? Uh, can I go over here? Ah, 
already is not here. It's a shame that there's a whole uh, three buildings that we never had used for. Used by order of the law, and all on account of a teeny tiny mouse. Oof, ridiculous, really. But you know Constable Dibbins, he'll let a lot of things go, but he's a stickler when it comes to vermin. I see. I know. I'm gonna catch a squirrel. Watch me. I'm I'll catch a squirrel with this. It's a nut butter. I'll catch it. Can I just You are kidding me? Done!